Let's create this part. Uh, this is an inch base system, and uh, we'll use the extrusion. And each grid is a quarter inch. Uh, the key of this one is just a block, but how you can make this cutout, triangle cutout in the middle. Okay, we'll show you two different ways of doing it. So basically, you have to create this block first. So I'm going to use this uh, rectangular tool and probably use a corner rectangle and start from a corner uh, from the origin. And I need to add the dimension for the width, which is in this case one, two, three, four, five, six grids. So I have x six grids. Each grid is quarter inch, 0.25, and that'll be 1.5. And the height will be four grids, which will be one inch. And then we're going to extrude it. So go to features and extrude. Uh, we want to maintain the same orientation. So when you change to isometric, we want to have the same orientation as this picture. So that's how why I drew my rectangle like that. Um, and as you can see here, this part is symmetric about this mid plane right here, right? So instead of just extruding it by one inch in one direction, if I do that, my reference plane will remain in the one side of the part. I want to have it in the middle. So I'm going to use this mid plane option so that the extrusion is done in both sides from the sketch plane. But still, we have the overall width will be one. Okay, it's not going to be two. It'll be still one. So if I say okay, then what happens is that the reference plane. I'm going to reduce that size of the plane to fit. Will remain in the middle. So you can make use of this reference plane. So one of the method you can use is using the front plane and draw the triangle on this plane and make a cutout. So I'm going to make a extruded cut and using this reference plane. So I'm looking at normal to the sketching plane. So I'll draw my triangle like that. In each triangle, the depth will be one to three unit. Uh, three grids, so that will be 0.75, or you can just type in three times 0.25, and it'll be the same for the height 0.75. So now the triangle is in the middle, so we will cut that triangle uh, again, extrude cut, but we want that cut using mid plane option same mid plane option and its depth will be two grids which will be half inch so 0.5 and since we cut it from the plane in the middle it will always maintain to be in the middle and the, this is the depth okay i'm going to show you the second method so i'm going to uh, now I'll draw my triangle on one side of this block. So I'm going to create a sketch and make sure it's select the side set surface of this block. So now the sketching plane is on this side. So I'm going to draw a triangle like that to make sure it's aligned. And we need to add a dimension, 0.75 and 0.75. All right, this is fully, fully constrained. Now we make a cut, features, extrude cut. But here, we don't want to cut where the sketch is drawn. We want to make an offset where the cut is made. So the from group box, it starts from sketching plane by default, but you can have different options. One of the options is offset. So you can specify the offset distance which is I believe is 0.25 one grid and uh, not this way I you need to flip that direction so just click on this button here so you can flip which direction you start from offset 
Um, so this is the one, and then you want to have specify the depth of the cut, which is this depth, which is point, point 0.5. And there you go, the same result. So depending on how you, uh, where you draw the sketch, you can use different options.